It's life in prison for the final two men involved in a deadly robbery in 2010. A judge made that decision in Norfolk Federal Court today. In July, a jury found Kevin Stevens Jr. and Xavier Holly guilty of robbing the gold shop in Portsmouth two years ago. The jury also found them guilty of murdering 51-year-old Robert Nelson during the crime. Ten of your sides, Katie Collette was in court today. So, Katie, how did Nelson's family react to the judge's ruling? Nicole, they were quietly emotional. His wife tells me she's not been able to work since she got the news that her husband was shot to death inside the store. And while she's happy the judge decided on life in prison, she says it's not going to help ease her pain. For Becky Nelson, life without her husband Rob has been very difficult. I pretty much fell apart. <laughs> She had to stop working, her grief too much. Most of her time spent going to court to face those convicted of her husband's death. It's been just one day to the next. Becky's days in court ended today when Judge Rebecca Beach Smith put the two men accused of murdering her husband behind bars forever. Hopefully in time it will give us some closure. I know right now everything is still raw and fresh. In court, the judge said Kevin Stevens Jr. fired the gun that ended Rob Nelson's life while Xavier Holly provided the loaded weapon. Judge Smith gave both men the opportunity to speak. Only Holly said he was sorry. I didn't expect to hear anything from him, and I barely heard what uh, what Mr. Holly said. Um, but I think that was, you know, a little bit too late. Stevens and Holly sentencing the final of five. Becky and Nelson's family attended. Montarius Murray, Ronald Gober II, and Renisha Sifford all sentenced to jail time for their involvement in the crime. 73 years between the three. While they get to live in jail, receiving visits from their families, the Nelsons must go on without their loved one. He was just caring and giving, and nobody ever asked him for anything that, that he didn't respond in kind. Becky and Rob would have celebrated their 21st wedding anniversary on Valentine's Day. Instead, Becky spent the last two years without her husband, going to every trial and sentencing to make sure the love of her life could rest in peace. I had to make sure that justice was done for him the way he would have done for me. Now, one of Rob Nelson's family members today said justice was served, but no one really won. Stephen and Holly can appeal, but they must do so within the next two weeks. Katie Collette, 10 on your side.